The Trudeau government turned down an effort today to send notorious killer Paul Bernardo back to a maximum security prison. That's despite anger across Canada over the decision to move Bernardo from maximum security to a medium security prison in Quebec. And the government is still under growing pressure to reverse Bernardo's move. Al Sweeney is covering this story and joins us live with the latest. Al. Hi there, Taz. Well, Niagara Falls MP Tony Baldinelli was the one pushing for Bernardo to be back in a maximum security prison today. His motion was blocked by the government in the House of Commons, but he says he's going to try again later this week. After a week of outrage over the decision to move Paul Bernardo to medium security, Niagara Falls MP Tony Baldinelli called on the government to send Bernardo back to a hard time in maximum security for the rest of his life. That the House call for the immediate return of vile serial killer and rapist Paul Bernardo to a maximum prison and that all court-ordered dangerous offenders and mass murderers be permanently assigned a maximum security classification. But Baldinelli's motion was rejected in the House of Commons, despite an appeal by friends of Kristen French of St. Catharines, who was abducted and murdered by Bernardo in the early 1990s, along with Blessing Mahaffey of Burlington. We need to bring justice back to the victims and their families for once and for all. This is 31 years after this monster did his horrific crimes, that he is still haunting the families. Baldinelli and the Conservatives are still planning to introduce a private member's bill on Wednesday in support of the French and Mahaffey families and other victims. We're introducing a bill that would ban the Trudeau government from moving multiple murderers mass murderers into medium security, that he should be back in a maximum, peniten maximum security penitentiary, uh, and that no killer of, of this type should ever be released from maximum security. In fact, he should leave in a coffin. The name Paul Bernardo in our community is synonymous with evil. He's a monster, and he should be in maximum security. And a lawyer for the French and Mahaffey families has written to Corrections Canada asking them to send Bernardo back to maximum security, arguing he's beyond the Corrections Canada goal of rehabilitation. We talk about the Paul Bernardos of the world, um, and uh, they, they are not treatable, and that, and that uh, sentencing principles of punishment and deterrence are what should prevail uh, for someone like him. So Baldinelli's motion office says his motion was rejected in the House of Commons today by just one government vote. And there was some confusion about that. At first, the Speaker thought the motion had passed. But then it turned out there was one vote against it, and the motion required unanimous approval. Now, we contacted Corrections Canada today about the Ber Bernardo move and haven't heard back about whether there have been any changes or other developments. 